Good afternoon, internet. So, it's Wednesday afternoon. It is the 18th of October. Uh, and it is 3.55. So, not very nice weather today, as I'm sure it's not nice weather where you are. I know the UK uh, is, is getting a bit of a battering, and um, Europe as a whole is going to get a battering over the next few days. So there you go. No riding the bikes. Okay, so... Back to the meteor. So, yesterday um, I changed the headlight bulb. Really pleased with that, nice and bright. Uh, and one of the subscribers, Alan, uh, said to me, "What what was my thoughts on the uh, on the relays on these bikes? Because um, I think we're all aware there's been so much talk, you know, of them being over greased and." the stock relays not being as good as they should be. Now, I've got to be honest, I changed my Himalayan. There she is, God bless her, sat there in the corner. Uh, I, you know, they were absolutely bunged up with grease. So uh, I cleaned all the terminals out and I changed them for Bosch. Now, I've got to be fair and to say, I never had a problem with the Himalayan at all. No issues with electrical relays, nothing. No starting problems, no jumping, nothing at all. But I thought to myself, well, you know what? You know, it's better to err on the side of caution because you don't want to break down. It's the last thing you want. So I changed all, I cleaned them all out. I changed them for Bosch, which means I've got five spare relays. Now, so yesterday, when Alan asked me that question, I had a quick look at the relays on this. Now, the Meteor has only got four relays opposed to five on the bus show, uh, on the Himalayan. Now, yes, they are the same. They're greased up, as was the headlight, although on the Himalayan, the headlight terminal wasn't greased. As you saw yesterday, this was greased. They must look, they must sit in the factory in India and just squirt this grease, you know, fair play to them, you know. Um, but still, never mind. Okay, so this has four relays, and yes, they're covered in grease. So, again, this bike is 12 months old, uh, and as far as I'm aware, uh, talking to the previous owner, he never had any trouble with it at all. Um, that doesn't mean to say, however, that it couldn't still do something. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to clean the relays because I really do believe that that grease, over greasing, it's not necessary. It really isn't necessary. So I'm going to clean the grease um, and clean all the terminals. But I'm not going to change the relays. I, I, I just don't think there's a need for it. Um, I think the stock relays are just as good, to be honest with you. A relay is a relay, isn't it? You know. Um, I know the ones I put in on the Himalayan were Bosch, but at the end of the day, I wonder where they're all made, eh? You know, I bet it's some factory somewhere knocking them all out with different names on, you know? Bit like supermarket products, isn't it? You know, you might have one supermarket selling, I don't know, tin tuna. That tuna is caught by one trawler and it's branded all different things. And if it's a higher class or classed as a higher class supermarket, you're gonna pay more money for it. So possibly, and I'm not saying this is true to form to Bosch, but possibly, you know, they're all made the same. So I'm gonna clean the relays. I'm gonna put the original ones back in. I mean, if it, I've got five spare ones anyway, so I can always carry a spare relay with me as I do on the Himalayan. So, you know, I can carry a spare one if I can find a place. I must be honest, the Meteor is very, very short on carrying space. It, you know, it really is. You know, no under seat storage, uh, or not that I know of, uh, and I don't think there is. Maybe when I take the seat off, finally, which I'm going to do to take the tank off when I do the tappets, we'll have a look there. Um, but anyway, it's okay. So today's little job is clean the relays. So let's get you round here and get you in a position where we can all see what's going on. And uh, yeah, let's get cleaned. Or let's get cleaning. Whoops-a-daisy. 
as I bump you into this. Now, hang on a sec, because again, let's just move all these forward, shall we not? Right then, Oop, you're totally the wrong way. <laughs> oh dear, here we go, eh? Let's get you down there. Tap the screen so I can see what's going on. Where we want to be, we want to come down on this one. Eh? I bet your Spielberg don't have this trouble eh? at all when he's getting himself all sorted. Okay, are we all in line now? You can see what's there here. Okay, like that. Do you know what? That's not going to be very good because you're going to pick the glare of the window up there, aren't you? So, right, okay. Another little move. Let's get you out of here. That's better. Okay. okay. Get us in there like that and hopefully that's, I reckon that's about it. Yeah, what do you reckon? Oh, I think that's good. Right. Hasn't done much for me, though, because I've got to move everywhere now. Okay. So I'm going to get myself sat down here without trying to fall off my little trolley thing. And I'm going to move all this across here for a minute. Without trying to hit the camera again. Okay. So, oops a daisy. I told you, didn't I? Right. It's all going to pot. Ah. <sighs> Right, okay. I think we're going to actually stick that somewhere to get some light in there. What do you think, eh? Hey? A bit like that, a bit like that, maybe. No, that possibly could make it worse, I think. Okay. So, here's a real eyes. One, two, three, four. You can see the amount of stuff that's stuck on them. Now, how easy are these going to come out is the question. Let's have a look. Probably not too good by the look of it. Uh, uh, uh. They seem a bit... Okay. Just don't want to break anything in the possibility of pulling it down. Do you know, it's always awkward when you're trying to get light on the subject of something in it, eh? it really is. Let's try and get it in the right place, right. Okay. Oh, these are nice and tight. Are these on a sort of a, these different to the Himalayan ones by any chance? Okay, let's get a little blade. Hold on a sec. I'm trying to think how the Himalayan ones popped out. I think they could be a bit awkward if they so wished. You're always worried in case you in case you snap something and think, oh, I wish I hadn't put that much pressure on it. Right. Let's have a look at the see if we can get the easiest ones out to where <laughs> can never get these in a position where I want them to be do you know what sorry I think, I, I think that could be causing more trouble than it's worth to be fair I see where they actual. Well, that comes. That's like in its own little case there. Look. Yeah. So let's see if we can give it a bit more. Okay. Right. It is. They're different to the, that's it, to the Himalayan ones. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I, can you see that? That is absolutely and utterly horrible, yeah? Okay, so let's put the, the relays down on the floor. Now we know how we're going to take them out. Pop this one out of its holder, like that. 
Okay. Get him round there like that. Yeah. Cool. There's some horrible grease in these. There really is. Okay. And Blimey, that one's tight. Hang on a sec. Give him just a little bit of a... There you go. Another one, look at that. There's absolutely... Well, I said it in, in the first time, didn't we? You know, there's no need for all this grease. There really isn't. Right, hang on, here's this one. You can see again, look, full of it. Absolutely. And last one. And there we are. Look at that. Right, the state of that. Dearie me. Okay. So, what we need is, because I don't want this dripping all over the engine, so hang on, bear with me a minute. Let's get ourselves some decent bits of rag to put in there. Because I had the same thing with the Himalayan. <sighs> Mind you, they, I think these will be a little bit easier to sort of keep cleanish. Let's get that all down there. Like that. And then across there, like that. Eh? There you go. And put another layer in here. Like that. Okay. They're terrible. Look at that. Eh? Absolutely awful. Right. So what we're trying to do now is with all this excessive stuff in is uh, you can get a lot out of there. As much as you can. Which is probably quite a lot. Look at this. I don't know. I'd love to know why they put so much on. I really would. I mean, look, this is absolutely just caked on it, really. Is, huh? It's not nice at all, is it? Huh? Okay. Oh, do we get a bit. Take it out like this. And look at that one there. Can you see that one? Uh, ah, I mean, it's like... It just couldn't get any more in if it wanted to, could it? So basically, I mean, I presume this is done throughout the Royal Enfield range, you know. 
why they think there has to be this much in it though. I really don't know. I mean, the only thing which I said with with the Himalayan was maybe they base it on their monsoon times because, yeah, I mean, okay, certainly does rain there, I'll give it that. But, uh, you know, even so. Right, let's get another clean piece of, actually, probably stand more of a chance to like. Yes. I mean you want to get as much as this out as you possibly can, you know, prior to spraying it and then when it's sprayed I mean even that looks better looked than it, eh, you know, than to what it was. I mean it was that bad down there that Anything's got to look better than it did. There is some severe grease down there though. Eh? There really is. So, basically, if you've got a meteor, right, you know what to do. Take your rear eyes out, give them a good clean. And clean the headlight bulb as well. <laughs> well, not the bulb, the actual, the actual, uh, what's it, because that was just as bad, huh? It really was. Right, sort of getting it. There's that much in it. Okay. There you go. So, we've got a contact cleaner, look, which is this one again, which I use for the Himalayan, yeah. Again. It's just a case of... giving it a good... Watch your eyes with this, because it does tend to blow back at you a little bit. Get right down here and sort of blow it out you can. Well, I just go to the eye then, but still, never mind. It's definitely a bit cold on the old fingers. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if you've got a couple of bits of residue left in it, you know, it's, it's not going to be the be all, end all 
of it you just got to try and get it as much as you can you know uh, because anything oh got it in the eye again neither anything is better than it was yeah Like I say, a bit of it left isn't going to be the be all end all of it. But just try and get as much out as you can. Right, Whoa. that's cold to the fingers. And then of course, we'll give these a quick clean as well. Yeah, obviously. Because, like I said, a little bit of grease on them isn't gonna hurt anything, but you don't want them covered in it like these are. These are absolutely <laughs> baked on, eh? as in baked on. I'll tell you what, maybe some gloves might have done some good with this, eh? But still, we're here now. All right, so. All right. I mean, that's well acceptable. Okay, you know, you got a little bit of grease on the base of it, but, you know, to what it was, that's it as long as you get them looking like that that's more or less absolutely fine you know in actual fact you can you can probably wipe it off these and just give it the last bit of spray towards the end yeah save freezing your fingers to this you know okay that one's pretty good the contacts are clean that's another one done sorted there's a fly here that <laughs> obviously the smell attracts him or it's me one of the two i don't know must have a good taste in aftershave eh? ah. okay so while I'm doing these, at least it's giving these a chance to dry out. And uh, yeah. Just another little job that's uh, that's done. So I ordered, uh, or I was looking at, I should say, I didn't order it, but the, the little tinted fly screen today on, uh, and it was from direct from India. I think it what was it Himalayan rides. I think the site's called. I'm not hundred percent sure. And uh, it's the one that sort of attaches to the to the top of the forks, and um, and then sort of braces itself on. Uh, yeah, I mean it just. I've always had like a small screen of some description on my bikes, so uh, 
I shall add something to this one, I think, you know. It just makes it just a little bit comfortable, I think, as you ride along. Uh, and if anything, it collects the clocks, uh, protects the clock, collects the clock, protects the clock. So, yeah. This one's a bad one. Look at this one. This is really... And the grease has gone quite hard as well, you know. Down there, so... The rest of these have quite quite well. This one's got loads of the stuff stuck all over it. Yeah, like I was saying, these, uh, what I have noticed, one thing with this bike, and I suppose I've been spoilt really with the Himalayan, uh, one I've got the, the top box on it, uh, and this, to me, this bike isn't a top boxy sort of bike, is it? I don't think it would look right, but there's no storage, you know, or very little, well, no, hang on, there isn't very little, there's no storage, is that? I, you know, you've got your, your, your manual thing here, uh, and I put my, because in France we have to carry our documents with us at all times. There you go, that one cleaned up as they all did, rather nice. So yeah, um, so I managed to put the document thing under. It's turning around to me for a minute. Um, well, this is dry enough. So, uh, I, I, I got the, you know, that bit there. Um, I put my sort of document holder under there, which is the, because every time you go out in a vehicle in France, you have to carry your driver's license, your insurance, your CT, which is your MOT, although this nor the Himalayan have got one because they have to be five years old. Um, but yeah, so, and if you don't, and you get stopped by our friendly gendarmes, um, I think it's a thousand euro fine, which we don't want. But yeah, th this is very, a very limited carrying space to this. There's, there's absolutely no room. Um, it's like when I go out, you know, um, and I do my little bits and pieces, I'm not sure if I've got that in the right, have I got that at the right angle there? Yeah, I think I have. And, um, you know, I, I, I take the drone with me or I take the extra GoPro. Um, there's nowhere to put it. So I'm thinking, um, they do one of these little, you know, these little tail tidies. Is it a tail? No, not a tail tidy. A tail tidy is the bit where you get the drum plate and everything up. You know, these little tail boxes. Uh, baggy things they are. You get them from, oh, blimey, look at this data. You get them from AliExpress is one place where it just sort of straps on that back seat there uh, and you can throw a few bits and bobs in. You know, waterproofs, for instance, always nice. I mean, yeah, I've got a, I've got a, a backpack, you know, like a sort of a, yeah. Um, but I don't know, I don't like riding him. Anyway. That's for another question. Right, how, how are we doing with these? Let's just have a look at these and dry these off a bit. So let's just turn you back round and put you back down there, yeah? Hopefully that's in the right place. Uh, give all these a bit of a... I mean, I don't mind these having a, you know, a few bits and pieces of grease on them. And I sort of get it, you know, they worried about water ingress, but, you know, there's water ingress and there's just been bloody minded. I mean, that one's got a bit left in it, but again, you know, compared to what it was, it's nothing. So I don't mind a bit of grease. Okay, and the last one there. Get that one there. Hokey cokey. That looks pretty good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, uh, this one's still got quite a bit down there. I don't think I'll, I'll get a little bit out. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna switch you all off for five minutes and I'm gonna go and get a coffee because 
these do actually need to dry off inside just a little bit before we put them back in uh, so okay I'm going to switch you off for a minute let's let these dry out you know because they are still there's still quite a bit of moisture in likewise these I mean these are virtually dry now anyway uh, but yeah let's keep them so they get nice and, and dry right okay so let's see what's what with the drying thing and then we'll we'll come back in a few minutes and, and we'll stick them all back in and we'll start the bike up and see if it goes bang right see you in a minute right then so these look all pretty dry so let's get these back in now they can only go in the one way so just make sure that when you press them out they're nicely done okay and put that one back on his locating tab which is there and the other one Okay, and get him back in like that. Uh -uh. We'll get this one in next. Like I said, make sure they press home nice and tight, and they click back into the tabs. that and put the last one on there and there we go sorted all back in all fixed back in so we're going to move this lot look at that okay give my hands a walk with this and it might take some of the grease off my hands so there's all that done now all we got to do is uh when well, i've just moved it out of the way of course give it a start make sure that it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do i'm just going to wobble over here first of all and put this move me rags let's get you back up to a position where we can all see what's going on he says Hopefully, there we go. Hey, like that, and get you all lined up there, like that. Right, okay. Now, with a bit of luck. Where's the keys? In the side panel. So we'll move, we'll get, let's get these out first of all. And let's, with a bit of luck, she'll start off with our nice, clean, what's it? Now, we should hit a prime. Well, that sounded pretty cool. Here we go then, you ready? Sorted. So there we have, we have a full set of degreased relays. Like I said, not Bosch, original REs all back in. Um, I'm gonna, there's a bit of space here on top. Hang on, let's bring you around. Let's get you around here, shall we? So, there's a bit of space here, look, on top, on top of the battery box here, see, there, and I'm going to strap a relay, a spare one, on top of that there, yeah, and uh, so I will always have a spare one, which I think isn't a bad thing, yeah, 
at all. Okay, so that's that job done. Uh, I think it's a job worth doing, I really do. Like I said, the geezer said that I bought it off, he's never had a problem with this bike. I mean, it sounds beautiful, it runs great. Why tempt fate? You know what I mean? Other people say, yep, yeah, they've had trouble with it. Everybody seems to think they're the re I think just cleaning them is enough. Um, the test of time. A bit like the Himalayan seats, which I must say, at the moment, are looking just as good as when I sprayed them. Look at that. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right. And, uh, oh, hang on, let me just turn this off. Okay, so that's that. I was watching today, strangely enough, um, Harry from Moto Latvia, and uh, out on his scooter, on his new Vespa, cracking bit of kit. Scooters aren't for me. Not, I don't dislike scooters. I've never ridden a scooter. Uh, well, I say I've never ridden one. When I service the kids ones here, I nip around the garden. But I've never ever been a trip or a long distance on a scooter. He loves it. Fantastic. Um, but he was on about today. Obviously, the part of the world that he lives in, the temperature's already coming down. In fact, I think I'm right in saying that the video he put on today or last night where it was five degrees he was riding but one thing he did say he was on about his gloves and he got these gloves from Lidl well you know what I bought uh, a pair of winter gloves from Lidl as as hang on a sec I bought the kids as well with their scooters um, and these are them I got these from Lidl look look at this winter gloves really thick uh, I tell you what, they, they were crazy, they were under 20 euro, right, and I've got to be honest, I've got a lot of pairs of gloves I have, uh, and those gloves are the warmest gloves I have ever worn, so once again, you know what little, nice one, okay, <laughs> and I hope his hands are warm, right, okay, that's the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you do, if you like what I do, whether I'm in here, in the garage, or I'm out there on the bike, please subscribe. It, it, it's just nice to get them subscribers going up. It, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, great stuff. Right, I'll catch you in the next one. I hope you're all well. Take care. See you later. Bye for now.